So while the wings are off, I'm going to go ahead and install uh, the in intelligent fuel boost system from Aerospace Innovations. Uh, the, the current configuration of the sling with the 915 Rotax that I'll be using, the fuel pump is located somewhere here on the firewall and it's generally higher than the level of the tank. So in my mind, that's just pretty much the main reason why I'm installing this system. Uh, I want fuel pumps at the wing root and right at the fuel tank uh, so that those lines will be under pressure and not gravity feeding to the engine mounted or the firewall mounted uh, fuel pump. So here we have a conversion kit. Now this can be done uh, on an existing built uh, sling TSI and this kit uh, has a wing mount system that uh, requires no drilling at all. You just use the kit that they provide and it fits right in over uh, the lightning hole on the rib and I'm going to show that here in a minute. Um, and so it just, it just is a very easy conversion without having to do any drilling or fabricating. They, they give you everything you need to do it. So with this intelligent fuel boost system, there's basically three parts to this. Of course, the fuel pumps themselves, one and two, and uh, this is the harness, and this is the plug that plugs into, where is it, over here. This will be plugging into the fuel pump, uh, obviously one on each side. The second part of this is the, is the fuel selector, um, because the, the pumps are before the selector, so this system has a sensor that detects where you position the fuel selector, turns off one and turns on the other. And then a third part of this is these, this pressure monitor that monitors the feed line from the tank to the fuel selector. And that's displayed, or if a fault is detected, the ethos can be programmed to detect that fault. Now, there are some in-depth explanations as to why people are using this for uh, vapor lock and things like that and I'm not going to get into all the scientific part of that. Um, this will supposedly uh, cure that problem for vapor lock and the line between the tank and the engine mounted or the firewall mounted fuel pump. Um, so yeah I guess that would be a big reason to do this. But for me, I've always just had concerns about low wing airplanes with fuel pumps not mounted at the tank and you got a, a, a the head pressure, gravity feeding that fuel pump that literally has to go up. And in my mind, the lower uh, you get in fuel quantity, the lower the pressure would be to feed that fuel pump. And I think you're mitigating some risk by pressurizing those lines as your fuel quantity decreases. So that's just kind of the way I'm going with this. So I'm gonna talk about installing next uh, this fuel pump onto this wing rib because I did not install this rib when I built the wing because of this reason I was gonna do this um, prior. So let me show you one that I've already completed. That's what it's gonna look like right there. I don't know if you can see, but in here there's a hard line that comes out of the uh, outlet part of the fuel tank, goes through a fuel uh, filter, comes around here, through the pump, and then into uh, the cockpit towards the fuel selector. So that's pretty much how that works. Again, there's no drilling. They give you all the pieces to kind of just make a clamshell connection, attaching it to that rib, and it's, it's really, it's a nice deal. It's nice and solid. It's not going anywhere, so happy with that. Here's the wing that the, I'm going to put this other one on. Uh, actually, if you haven't seen it, this is my rotisserie. Uh, I've installed this wing on so that when it becomes time to paint and that sort of thing, I can, I can rotate this around freely and just work on it, rotating it around, filling the rivet heads with the uh, uh, super fill and just doing any kind of work I want to do on the wing without having to flip it over while it's still on the, uh, while it's still on the uh, twist jig. So let's talk about how to install this fuel pump onto this rib.
Okay, so all the pieces you see on this plate, I've already pre-assembled with these nut plates and this piece here that fits inside the lightning hole. Um, and then this is the one that sits on top and you can see how that those two fit together. The fuel pump will go on top of here. I'll show how that goes in in a minute. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two pieces just slightly. I'm not gonna fully engage them just put them together loosely and then uh, install it onto the rib. So I've got this uh, 3D printed spacer that fits in here between the two. And uh, I'll get that started. And get this one started. That one, this one's actually an inch. I need it to be a three quarter. And then I've got one more it goes in the front right here, but I'll put this over the rib first. Now, I'll put this one in. Just use the drill to speed up the process here and then do the final hand tightening with the ratchet. Okay, so this fuel pump is mounted onto this plate, which I've already done, and it just simply, as you can see this piece here fits inside. There's a little hollow channel right there. So this fits right inside there, like such. So now that's locked in in the front, and then we'll just put a screw in the back to hold that in place, and then this final hole will have this Adele clamp on it with the fuel filter. I'll show how that goes here in a second. Okay. So this fuel filter is held in place with this Adele clamp and it'll go right here. There's a nut plate on the back side for that. So to install this ADEL clamp, I've got this ADEL clamp tool that I use. It's called a, well, let's see. It's got a, uh, it says smamtools.com. Um, the way it works is I'll slide this, looks like an ice pick into the holes like that. And then I take this, these little duckbill vice grips, slides in here, clamps it down, pull the ice pick out. I can put the screw in, put it in its location. Then release the uh, vice grip and continue screwing it into the nut. And I'll leave that loose a little bit so I can adjust this if I need to adjust this uh, filter up or down. So there's the uh, filter in place. I probably would need to go down a little bit. So still I can adjust it more if I need to. All right, so the next piece will be this, uh, ho this hose. Um, and this is going to mount into the feed side of the fuel pump. You can see the flow is pointing in. So this mounts here. And the other one mounts on top of the fuel filter. And I'm just starting the threads. I'm not tightening it down yet. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go and install this elbow on the bottom of the filter to swivel 90. And then this hard line will go mounting to the uh, outlet of the fuel tank. And then the final connection will be uh, to this elbow. 
So there will need to be some adjusting, uh, a little bit of bending once this is on to get it in place, which is probably the most challenging part of this installation. Okay, so now I'm over at the wing root and I'm going to install this hard line from the feed line out of the fuel tank. I got a cap on there right now. Put this in place. This will be a permanent connection. I've got my fuel wrench, my little fitting wrench here. Get that tight. Okay, there's that. Now I need to bend this slightly over to about here. level with the can't be up or down needs to be completely level all right so now install the wing root or excuse me the uh, rib with the filter on it and i can already see i'm going to need to bend that line a little further That's going to be a good connection right there. Let me go back and since I did the put a little torque on that, I want to make sure I got everything tight here. I'm going to go ahead and make this connection to that swivel, that 90 degree swivel. Okay, I just got it started. That's all I needed to do. And now I'll go ahead and put this uh, Clecos in to the rib to hold it in place. Right, one on the top here. Two on the top here, one on the bottom here, and then I'll put one here. Move it that way, everything's lined up. Okay, now confirming that my ribs, my uh, dimples, and everything are all lined up which appears to be the case all the way around. And so now I can go ahead and tighten that connection to the uh, swivel there. So now this is how I mounted the fuel pump. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% certain that manhandling that uh, aluminum line right there was the best way to bend that thing. Um, I do have a tube bender but this piece is too short to do that so um, maybe the thing to do is to put a mock-up of a male AN6 fitting into a piece of metal remove it from here take it over to the bench bend it by hand bring it back and see if it fits I, I you know maybe that was the better way to do this but for now this is what I've done and I like I said I've gone back and made sure that my connection was, was tight. I know there is a foot pound or excuse me, an inch pound setting for these fittings. And, uh, I'll have to go through, make sure that those are all correct for the final, uh, part of this. But that's basically how I'm assembling this fuel pump, uh, onto this wing root with the rib removed and then installed in place, fully mounted.